Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Ninjago movie and the back to school trailer breakdown. And don't forget, now through the end of August, you can enter for my Comic Con giveaway using the link in the description below. And for my weekly giveaways, simply comment and subscribe, and you could win a prize. We're in back to school season, so I'm back for another trailer breakdown. And as always, there's a bunch of new secrets and Easter eggs, so let's get started. Right off the bat, we see that tilted school bus from the previous trailers arrive at the Ninjago school. The building's architecture is immediately recognized as a school, but it has that great oriental architecture that's a trademark in Ninjago City. There's a lot of fun activity and details in the scene, as well as one Easter egg. And again in this trailer, we find John Bender from the 80s classic movie The Breakfast Club. We then get a much better look at the classroom that we saw in the second trailer, and it has a lot of fun details. We see the teacher at the front of the class, and she seems to be teaching them social studies. This scene is full of great details, including some very cool printed book tiles, a model skeleton, like the one I remember from my biology class. And the detail that surprised me the most is this dual molded apple, as this piece is normally featured in a single color, just like it was in the Ninjago City chase set. But in this sequence, we see the teacher startled as Garmadon is attacking the city. And we see some familiar footage from the first trailer, where Garmadon is attacking Ninjago City in the shark mech. And this scene features Henry from Kai's fire mech. We also get that great shot of the baby screaming Garmadon's name. Just as we get this unbelievable new shot of the shark mech and the shark army arriving on Ninjago City Beach. Garmadon's shark mech looks unbelievable in this shot, and the whole thing is really impressive. We see the troops emerging from the water, including the Great Whites, the Pumpers, and the Krusties. We also see the Piranha vehicles walking onto land, and the flying jelly subs in the air, as well as the Manta Ray bombers flying by. As Garmadon asks, are you ready for me to conquer Ninjago? Which leads into that hilarious sequence from trailer 2 where the ninja ask for a bathroom pass, and their teacher, now hiding behind the desk, says okay. And with the way the teacher is hiding, as well as the rest of the students, it's clear the school has a protocol for when Garmadon attacks. Kind of like a fire or tornado drill. And then we see the ninja running through the halls of the school. And everyone looks excited except for Jay. All the ninja go into their respective lockers, and we see them all start to drop down towards those secret passageways into their ninja headquarters. And the way they accomplish this look in the trailer is just pretty cool. And I definitely wish I had a secret passage to get out of some of my classes in school. Just as Nia's door pops open, the skateboarder skates by and says, run for your life. In addition to some funny tattoos featuring mom and dad on her arms, we also see this logo with the letter P and a wing. This is actually an Easter egg for the alternative rock group, the Pixies. And you can almost make out their name on the front of the shirt. Then Nia steps out of her locker and addresses the audience to say it's back to school time and she's going to tell us everything we need to know to be ninja and nail the school year. For Nia, saying that something is ninja is like saying it's cool. But as we know, anyone can be ninja if they feel strong, confident, and powerful. And we see a lot of this footage from the first trailer of the ninja getting ready. And the rest of the trailer acts like an instructional video where Nia teaches us everything a ninja needs to be a ninja. And we definitely have a lot to learn. First, Nia likes to hang up photos of all her heroes that inspire her. And we see some familiar faces amongst the pictures, including Wildstyle, Batgirl, Unikitty, and Wonder Woman. This further ties together the Lego Cinematic Universe, as we know these other characters were from the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie. And it also grounds the timeline that this is indeed after the Lego Batman movie. As Barbara took on the Batgirl identity during the film, the next thing a ninja needs is a ninja mask to conceal their secret identity. And I loved this joke where Nia explains that nobody knows her identity except for Kai Cole, J. Zane Lloyd, and us, the viewer. But don't worry, we're buds with Nia, so it's all good. Nia also pulls out her lunch, which is sushi, as well as her lucky chopsticks. And this chopstick element is not one that we've seen in a Lego set before. So I'm guessing this was just added for the movie. The other thing a ninja needs is makeup, but maybe not for the reasons you'd imagine. It's actually for camouflage, as a ninja can blend in in stealth missions. And it's really cool the way they accomplish this look. And it's pretty funny that while she's telling us all this info, everyone else is just running around screaming. But she totally nailed it. 
and the whole thing is totally ninja. But something that's not totally ninja is the Garma Mecha Man attacking the city. But as far as new footage goes, this shot of the mech is totally impressive. And we also get an extended look at the Garma Mecha Man shooting sharks at the civilians. We see plenty of people on bikes carrying chickens and goats just trying to stay out of the giant mech's way. And you may also notice the character Lauren, also from Kai's Fire Mech. The Garma Mecha Man looks awesome in the movie, and he definitely has some major destructive power. The next shot features this highly detailed sign thanking you for visiting Ninjago. And at the bottom, you can see that there's been one day since the last attack. Though it doesn't look like that very short-lived record is going to hold up too long, as we see Garmadon just tearing through the city. Certainly we're going to need our ninja to stop him. And back at the school, we see that Nia's going to take care of it. And as Nia steps back into the locker, she explains that the last thing a ninja needs is a secret passageway. And as she falls down, she changes into her ninja outfit. And the passageway leads to a warehouse full of butt-kicking mech. And this is a brand new shot that shows all six mech docked and ready to go. On the far left, we've got the fire mech in that lounge chair, as well as the ice tank. On the right, the green ninja mech dragon looks like it's taking a nap, and we can see the quake mech's arm. And finally at the back, we can see the lightning jet against the wall and the water strider hanging upside down. And Nia definitely looks ninja as she strikes a kicking pose in the cockpit of the water strider. The water strider is definitely a set you guys should pick up, and it looks even cooler in the movie. And I love this other new shot of Nia in the cockpit, ready to go. Nia wishes us a great school year, and at the bottom you can actually see Zane and Lloyd getting into their mech. With all their ninja skill, and these huge mechs by their side, the ninja are ready to face off against Garmadon. And it's awesome to hear all the ninjas say, Ninja Go, just like they do in the TV show. We then get our final shot of the movie's logo with a brand new song that says, Your Heroes on the Way. Again, we get a back to school trailer that was so totally ninja. There was a bunch of new footage with a ton of great Easter eggs. And every brand new shot is even more glorious than the last. And I really love how it gives me a chance to learn even more about the world of the Ninjago movie and all the details of living life in Ninjago City. Again, we have a trailer with Nia in the spotlight, but she was actually a pretty fun narrator and definitely taught us how to be a ninja. As we get closer and closer to the movie, we're definitely going to see more footage, but also learn more about Garmadon. It seems like the original attack is in the shark mech, so I'm curious how he comes back in this new mech. Leave me a thumbs up if you're also excited for all the mechs in the movie and stay tuned because there's plenty more trailers and I've got so much more coming so be sure to subscribe. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of the trailer? And are you ready to take on the school year like a ninja? And don't forget now through the end of August you can enter for my Comic-Con giveaway using the link in the description below. And leave me a comment and subscribe for my normal weekly giveaway. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Look to learn all about the Incredibles 2 sets and video game coming in 2018. And don't forget to subscribe 